So today we're going to be talking about one of the accessories compatible with the PMSG200 uh, multi-welder available from Little now for under 200 euros. Uh, this device comes with an included electrode holder and a MIG torch, but one of its capabilities, though it is missing the torch, is the TIG welding capability. So kindly enough, Little has included this voucher uh, with the device where it gives you the option to order at a discounted price uh, take torch. So here they give us an email uh, that you can contact sending either a scan of uh, the store receipt or the PDF of your online order. And uh, this will give you the ability to order at a discounted price a fairly decent uh, take torch set. So here I contacted uh, the company in question, and this is the price of the torch without a discount. Uh, it's coming from Mauk that usually supply uh, replacement parts for all uh, little welding machines. Uh, so this is the Wigtig Schweißbrenner, or torch, uh, coming out at 55 euros almost. But when we apply our discount, the price is actually cut more than half. So this is 25 euros with shipping for the torch. So unfortunately, looking at their website, it's very 1990s. They don't give us much information of what this torch package will actually be. But once it arrived in the post, this is uh, what you can expect to get. So you can't see very much here, but it is one of the fairly standard uh, WP17 type torch sets. So this is uh, the torch in question. And if I can just pull up its manual here, you can see that it is indeed a fairly standard WP17 type torch. So this is the bag it comes in. And if we look at the data in this rather scant uh, information booklet, we can have a look at the capabilities of the uh, torch set itself. So if we look here, uh, it is your standard WP17 torch, uh, maximum operating current 110 amps. The uh, multi-welder is capable of up to 200 amps, I think, in TIG mode. So you'll have to go easy on it there. Uh, three meters of hose. Uh, it comes set up for 1.6 millimeter electrodes, so you can adjust that to uh, any size you would like with the uh, fitting holders. Uh, it comes with an M16 times 1.5 gas connection, which is a little bit problematic connecting to your usual uh, G quarter inch uh, connector on your uh, uh, gas uh, selector. And it comes with some gas nozzles. Uh, they also give you a sort of quick pictogram of putting the torch together, but I'll show you that in just a moment. So this is actually the torch set you receive. Uh, it comes with the holder, uh, the standard uh, WP17 uh, uh, type or of design here. It has the gas valve on top, so you have the manual lift arc start, uh, no high frequency button start on here. It comes with a nice, sort of plasticized rubber covering. Uh, it comes with a standard uh, Dinza plug. This is the uh, nine millimeter type. So uh, 10 to 25 uh, square millimeter wire, I think this is. Um, and it comes with your gas connection uh, using this uh, conical uh, nut here. Unfortunately, this is uh, 16 M16 times one and a half, and something not very common, at least for, for the gas supplies I've seen. Most of them just come with a G quarter inch fitting. So my suggestion here would be uh, to remove uh, this fitting here and to order uh, a standard uh, quarter inch uh, conical connector with a hose barb. Uh, like this. The hose is uh, six millimeter internal diameter. So uh, any uh, six millimeter hose barb should work. Uh, you can just uh, get your connection for a couple of euros off the internet. Uh, just uh, push it into this hose and put a hose clamp on that and you should be good to go using the standard quarter inch connections. Uh, I believe M16 times uh, one and a half millimeter pitch is used 
used on some uh, welding devices. Uh, I think uh, 5 eighths thread uh, is semi-compatible with uh, M16 times one and a half. Uh, the thread uh, sizing and dimensions are very similar. And since you're uh, making your gas tight connection using the uh, conical shape here, that shouldn't be that much of a problem. But as I said, the easiest solution in my mind is just to uh, fit the uh, uh, quarter inch uh, fitting here. So another thing that's included in the package is a set of additional goodies. So it comes with the long type uh, cap. It comes with a bunch of uh, gas nozzles. I think sizes four, five, and six. Uh, so that should be plenty to get you started uh, with some first uh, attempts at welding. As you can see, four, five, and six. And they do include uh, one uh, electrode, uh, or I guess nozzle holder, and four uh, 1.6 millimeter electrode holders. There's no electrode included, unfortunately, so you'll have to uh, get that separately in order to start welding. Um, as you can see here, we have uh, these different gas nozzles. The different numbers indicate a uh, different size uh, aperture, which is obviously on this side. Um, so these uh, ceramic nozzles actually screw on to this uh, nozzle holder once it's in the device and you'd have your electrode sticking out here and the gas protection cloud uh, blowing out of the nozzle. So this device as it comes is set up to use the ceramic nozzles, the uh, ones that are basically your cheapest uh, system for uh, dispensing inert gas using the uh, TIG welder. Another option is to go with uh, gas lenses. Uh, this uses a different type of holder. Uh, they usually come in bigger sizes, so it uses much more gas, but it delivers a better weld. But once you research uh, TIG welding, you'll get to uh, learn the different setups, either using these uh, cheap and quick to use uh, uh, ceramic gas nozzles or to go to gas lenses, which is a kind of more professional but uh, more expensive way uh, to do TIG welding, uh, but uh, can provide you with better welding results. So I'm just going to show you how to set up the uh, welder and torch. So what we need is one uh, ceramic gas nozzle, one uh, threading holder, and one electrode holder, and our cover. So for this, uh, we take the uh, torch itself. You can see it has this uh, insulator on top. This is also something that varies using the ceramic uh, nozzles or the gas lenses. So this is also a replacement part you might want to uh, find and purchase before you start uh, long-term welding. So the next thing you do is in here, you'll see there is a threaded part. So this uh, electrode holder just screws in there. And then you can fit your uh, ceramic nozzle on top of that. Just screws in like that, just finger tight. Don't uh, overdo anything because you can crack or damage the parts. Uh, then on this back side, you drop in your electrode holder and you can see that it's actually split on the front here. This is what bites down and fixes the electrode once you have it installed. And then you have this long back cap. There's different uh, sizes. So usually the electrodes are about this long. So if you have this long electrode, you might have some space issues getting into tight corners. There's shorter uh, back covers available where you have to cut down the electrode, but it allows you better access in uh, tight quarters. So this tip screws into the back here. Uh, you can fit that loosely. And now if I had uh, an electrode available, I just feed it uh, down this nozzle or I could re remove the nozzle, feed the electrode uh, into this hole. This is sized for 1.6, but you can get uh, these different holders sized either to for uh, 2.4, 3.6 as the sizes go up. Uh, then you would uh, fit your ceramic nozzle, tighten it to the right distance, 
you'd uh, set your electrode to just be barely peeking out with the uh, sharpened uh, point somewhere out here, and then you'd tighten the back cap, which in turn would uh, bite down on the electrode holder inside and uh, tighten it down so it couldn't slip in or out while you weld. So you have this gas valve here, uh, turn it off to stop gas flow, open it up uh, once you're welding. Uh, the gas valve uh, shouldn't really be for setting gas flow, it should just be on or off, and you should be setting your uh, gas flow on your uh, gas meter uh, at the bottle uh, to uh, an adequate uh, flow rate. Uh, I think one rule of thumb is to use the amount of uh, liters per minute uh, as is on the nozzle, but more gas will usually result in uh, better uh, welding behavior. So this is uh, basically a quick rundown on the uh, cheap uh, discounted little uh, TIG welder. Uh, available from Mauk, it usually ships uh, within a couple of days and uh, it should be a fairly decent uh, tool to get started with uh, uh, TIG welding with the uh, little multi-welding tool. So my uh, one uh, addition here is to uh, get the quarter inch uh, nut and uh, conical uh, hose barb just to replace that uh, larger uh, not very common M16 fitting that uh, comes included with the hose. So just a hose clamp and uh, this quarter inch uh, barb and nut uh, should allow you to get started uh, using the TIG welding uh, element. So good luck, thank you for watching and please subscribe if you uh, like my videos. I'd like to bring you more content and any uh, subscription and like on the channel really helps out uh, with that. Thank you. Bye-bye.